Howdy, this is Quabana from OpenMV, and today I want to show off a new feature we finally merged into Master. So we've had the Gen X320 event camera running for a while, and we introduced this to the market this year. It's a really cool camera that's able to see events and see motion. So with the normal Gen X320 event camera, you're able to do uh, we have something called histogram-based vision, which is basically an image, as you can see here, that just sees the kind of motion that's detected. Um, and this makes it easy to find objects that are moving, and you can do basic blob tracking on that. Uh, with the Gen X320 with uh, event vision, the frame rate can be very, very high. So we can set things to like, you know, 150 or so FPS or more. Um, if we disable the color palette to do just a pure grayscale output, uh, we see that we're actually at the uh, 200 FPS mark. Um, and so for the OpenMVCam H7, for example, uh, you can easily get that up to 300 frames a second, or you can set it as low as 20 um, to kind of see uh, event motion and things moving. And of course, that can be combined with basic blob tracking. Uh, we can turn back on that color uh, filtering there uh, to kind of see all kinds of motion and etc. So. That's what we've had on the market for a while. Now we're excited to introduce a feature that a lot of folks were begging us for, which is event-based vision. Uh, so with event cameras, you can actually do something where instead of getting a full frame out of the camera, we can now return information in terms of event timestamps. Uh, in this mode, you're actually gonna get an event where that event type can be either a positive or negative change per pixel the exact microsecond level timestamp. So very, very detailed. This allows you to have extremely precise you know, events down to the microsecond on when things are happening, along with the coordinate and XY position in the field of view. This is gonna be returned to you as a list uh, up to, it's a pow some power of two uh, buffer size for these six values as an ND array. Once you have that, you can go off and draw it as a histogram to get an event visualization, such as, uh, as you can see in the picture to the right. Or you can do complex math processing thanks to the onboard NumPy feature uh, that we have in the OpenMV camp. So as you can see in this example, uh, the camera is receiving about you know, 32K events at a frame rate of around 30 FPS or so. Of course, you can go a lot faster. Uh, the camera fell out. Uh, you can go a lot faster if you make the event buffer smaller. For example, I can shrink this event buffer down to 2048 events. And once I do that now, this guy is going to be going up to several hundred FPS. So you can see uh, with that smaller event buffer size, we're now running at the 480 or so FPS territory. And you can even go down to 1024. Uh, to get even faster events. So going up into the, let's turn up the contrast so we can actually see what's happening here. Um, you can see now with, these, with this smaller event buffer size, uh, we're actually in the 700 plus frame rate territory. So with this new feature, you're actually gonna be able to really, really, really track high speed events very, very quickly and process them on board. This is perfect for eye tracking along with many other applications. So. Let's take a look at this and see what happens if we actually accumulate these events in a buffer over time. So with this mode, we have uh, the event buffer not being cleared per frame, but actually we're drawing the events on the same image here. What's really cool about this feature is that the uh, this is an event camera, as I've detailed before. It doesn't actually see color per pixel. Each pixel is just plus and minus one. And so we can kind of see that the event camera actually approximates a grayscale image when we're just accumulating events that are happening, the plus and minus one events, uh, into the same pixel bins and et cetera. Uh, this mode is also useful for things for high-speed tracking. For example, if we have a very fast object come through the screen and such, uh, this, in this particular mode where we're just keeping track of all the pixels that change in the image, uh, we're actually gonna be able to see exactly what happened over time in this buffer. This could be useful for like tracking uh, what happens to an object in maybe uh, less than a millisecond or so of activity. So very, very fascinating. Uh, finally, uh, in terms of the max frame rate you can achieve out of this, when you're not actually drawing an image, you can go a lot faster. 
So remember those 2,000 events per second I, I showed before? Well, if we actually take off the fact that we have to draw the image, with Open Infocam H7, we're able to get an event buffer delivery in less than one millisecond. So we're actually hitting over a thousand frames a second in terms of receiving these two thousand event buffer these two thousand event buffers each time. And then if we shrink that to 1024 events, which is our smallest event buffer size, we can see the frame rate actually approximates close to two thousand frames a second or so for receiving these 1024 event buffers. Anyway. So thanks to this new feature, you're going to be able to do some crazy high speed tracking on the OpenMV Cam H7 and H an RT1062 and the upcoming OpenMV Cam N6. Thanks for watching.